Do you want to find out how to build the fastest mousetrap car possible? Well, stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how. Hey, what's up guys? If you don't already know me, my name is Faison and I've previously competed in Science Olympiad for the past seven years and I'm here to teach you everything I know to help you kill it at your next competition. Before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, drop a comment down below with any questions or feedback that you have, and subscribe to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Alright guys, so by far the most important thing to consider when designing your mousetrap car for speed is the weight of the car. And this is really because when you're designing any type of car, the speed is determined by the power to weight ratio. And the power to weight ratio is just the proportion between the mass of the vehicle and the energy it has to propel itself. So in order to maximize the power to weight ratio for your mousetrap vehicle, you can either have an increased amount of energy to, to propel your car, or you can decrease the weight of the vehicle itself. Now, because it's very hard to find or to increase the energy of the mousetrap without changing its structural integrity, the only other option you have is to reduce the weight of your vehicle, and that's going to help you go a little bit faster. So in addition to the weight of your vehicle, you should also focus on reducing the diameter of your wheels. And this is for two different reasons. So the first reason is that when you use a larger diameter wheel, then your mousetrap vehicle has a higher mechanical advantage. Now, if you don't know what mechanical advantage is, it's basically the ratio between the amount of energy you're putting into, the, into an object and the amount of energy you get out of that. So when you increase the mechanical advantage for your mousetrap vehicle, yes, your car will go a lot farther, but it will be at the cost of speed. And this is, this is because it will take a longer period of time to use all of that energy and go a farther distance. So if you want to reduce mechanical advantage and go faster, then you need to reduce the size or, of diameter for your wheels. But in addition to this, reducing the diameter of your wheels will reduce the rotational inertia that your car has. Now, again, if you don't know what rotational inertia is, it's basically the amount of energy it takes to change the rotational velocity of an object around an axis. So in simple terms, if you want your car to go faster, you need to reduce the amount of rotational inertia that's in your wheels. And that is accomplished by using smaller and lighter wheels. But what if you're not able to change the diameter of your wheels? Well, you're not out of luck because you could always modify the diameter of your drive axle. And this is because the mechanical advantage of your car factors in both the diameter of your wheels as well as the diameter of your drive axle. And if you want to make the fastest possible car, then you want the ratio between the drive axle and the drive wheel to be as close to one as possible. So that means you should try to increase the diameter of the drive axle. But if you're not able to physically change the drive axle, you should be able to wrap tape around the axle until you get to the thickness you are happy with and the speed you desire. So, are there any other ways that you can change the mechanical advantage of your car and go faster? Well, if you consider what makes up the mechanical advantage for your mousetrap car, you would notice that there's that you could either adjust the, the wheel diameter of your car, the drive axle of your car, or you could change the lever arm length. Now the lever arm is that bar that is attached to the mousetrap that holds string and pulls the axle. And if you want to specifically reduce mechanical advantage and go farther, then what you want to do is reduce the drive or the lever arm length. And this is because when you reduce the length of the, of the lever arm, the distance the lever arm travels 
is reduced. So in turn, the time it takes to use all of that energy is also reduced and you'll be going faster. And finally, if you want to reduce, <clears throat> and finally, if you want to increase the speed that your mousetrap car will travel, then all you need to do is, is reduce the amount of friction your car has, specifically at points where the axles of your car interact with the frame of the car. And this can be accomplished in many different ways, such as adding WD-40 or oil to the wheels, graphite powder, or you could even invest in ball bearings to make the rotation of your axles a lot smoother. And any of these will help you reduce friction, but I would highly recommend you try and invest in ball bearings because they're gonna help you go a lot faster and further. If you want to learn more about how you can improve the speed of your mousetrap vehicle, I'll leave a link in the description below that will take you to a post I made covering this exact topic. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, drop any questions or feedback that you have in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, you can follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below and at the end screen. I'll catch you guys next time. Stay on phase.